Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I would like to discuss on how we can create Apache Heisberg table using AWS Glue, both from Athena as well as from Glue. Let's see both. Like let's see first from Athena. And we can directly create an iceberg table using Athena using the SQL statements. If you see here, I'm just creating a table, all the columns and the data types. I want to partition by and I want to give the underneath uh, location and we need to give the table properties and the table as it's an iceberg table we should give the table type as iceberg and what is the compression we want right now iceberg supports Avro, Parquet and everything so we, uh, we want to go with Parquet and optimize rewrite delete I have kept to 10 I mean for every 10 delete operation it will try to rewrite the data till then it won't rewrite Okay, like these are the, there are many other properties as well, which we can set as per the requirement. But this is how we simply create the table. If you see, we got this table got created, iceberg table from Athena, which is fine. And I already have some sample data in my, this table. I would like to do an, ins I would like to show you an insert statement as well, just a sample data, just to show you it supports everything. And I have inserted. Now let's view the data. The inserted data has come. And if you want, you can even run the simple update statement. Wherever I have Iris Setosa, I'm just replacing it with Setosa 123456. It's a simple update statement. And we can delete as well. So all the operations were supported. Now if I come and check here, if you see wherever we have Iris Setosa, it has replaced it with this. So this is how we just create the table you, using Athena iceberg table. The major thing is you don't need to write all this. The only thing which should be mandatory is table type as iceberg. Then only this Athena SQL knows that we have to create an uh, iceberg table. That's it. So that's how we create a table. And also we can view the history snapshots and everything on, on the iceberg table using this. The time travel and everything is possible. I'll show you that as well. If you see, these are the two up. One, one is an up and operation. One is an update operation. So when you view history, we got all this. And if you see the snapshot, we'll get the snapshot. And based on the snapshot, we can uh, go to that specific version. Right now, uh, see, if you see when we query on snapshot, one is an overwrite, one is an up and operation, which is nothing but the update operation, right? Which we have done on the table. Now, when we go to this query and when we query this table, the latest version has set us a one, two, three, four, five is like, uh, assume like a, this is a wrong update, which I have done and I want to restore it to the previous version. So using snapshot, I'll get to know the snapshot ID. I'll just copy the snapshot I want to go to or else I can even go with the timestamp as well. Let me just copy both and keep it here. So I'm just updating the timestamp. And I'm trying to go to the initial version of the table before the update. Now I should not see Setosa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See wherever I have, I have uh, like this. So this is how we can even query the previous version of the table as well. And not only based on timestamp, we can even go with the version as well. So when I query the snapshot again, I'll get the snapshot number, right? So this is my first one. So I'll just copy this snapshot version and I'll just paste it here. And I can go to the previous version like this. So this is how we can time travel the table as well. So this is taking some time, but this is how we can even uh, time travel as well. And if you want to alter the table properties, we can even alter the table properties as well. Using the alter statement. I guess this table name is wrong. You can alter that uh, table as well, which we have done. And if you want to describe the table, we can even describe the table as well. We can see we got to know each and every detail about this table. The underneath storage path, data type, location, what are the table properties, everything about the table. And if you want to view the create table statement, we can view that create table statement as well. See, we got the create table statement as well. And if you want to add any column, we can even add using alter alter statement. If you want, you can just select as well. And last but not least, we can even do the optimize and vacuum as well. 
like similar to delta here also optimize is used to compress the small files and vacuum is used to delete the unwanted files this optimize command is used to just uh, compress the small files into a larger files and vacuum is used to just remove the uh, uh, unwanted files unwanted data files which we are not using here we are using bin pack there are two options two strategies to optimize it or to compress the small files into one is bin pack another is sort you can use uh, whatever we want and uh, this is how we optimize and vacuum so this is what the athena sql uh, we this is how we create a table update insert delete restore whatever we want based on the sql statement the similar thing can be done even with glue as well now if we go to the glue glue, glue job i have created a glue job i am just creating a glue context i am just giving the catalog name and this i am creating a warehouse path this we need to pass in the spark session here the warehouse path is nothing but the path where our athena table is going to be created our target athena table is going to be created so i am using so and so path here and if i come here and if i check the s3 see this is mine it's empty i am using this so and this path um, that's it and to you to create an athena table using glue you need to do two things to create a iceberg table using glue one is to set the spark session like this uh, it's a default thing which we will be getting from uh, amazon documentation as well if you see they have given us all uh, all what how to how do we create spark session to create an iceberg tables i just copy pasted from here and i just replaced this uh, s3 warehouse directory alone and i'm using my target table path that's it and this is one thing and the second thing is if we go to the advanced properties you need to uh, pass this particular parameter data lake formats as iceberg this uh, job parameters is mandatory and the spark session is mandatory if you set up these two things then we can create iceberg table from the glue as well apart from that everything is uh, similar to glue only there is no much difference here i'm just reading the csv file i'm reading another csv file i'm doing a small transformation here like where i'm splitting the column and taking the first uh, element and if you see to write a data frame into target we have to use this so and so command and this also we'll be getting from the documentation use in in the documentation they have provided spark sql as well as the data frames uh, uh, api as well see this is they have provided using data frame like i've just copy pasted it i didn't do anything different here uh, that's it uh, this this is how to up this is to append to the existing uh, iceberg table this is to create the table i've just used the same i didn't do anything different here and if you come here i'm just sorting based on the partition just uh, uh, sorting or ordering whatever you call on the data frame and writing it to so and so table and i'm giving the table properties if you want you can give all the table properties here i'm just using the um, second version of iceberg so that it supports merge as well the initial version of iceberg with glue does not support merge and also i'm just partitioning by species and i'm using the create or replace if you use create or replace it will either create and if it already exists it will replace and create that's why we have used this syntax it just creates the tables first and in the next thing i am using the another data frame that data frame i am just appending to the table which we have created above if you see i am just ordering by right to so and so table dot append that's it so this is how we append to, append the data frame to the existing table and this is how we create a new table from the data frame api from glue and spark and if you want you can even do the merge statement as well inside the spark sql we can even do the merge statement as well like if you have two tables and if you want to update delete sorry if you want to update and insert both at a time you can go with merge as well so this is how we deal with apache iceberg from glue there are only two things one is job parameters data lake as the iceberg and the second is setting up the spark session and inside the spark session we need to pass the table s3 path that's it so i'm just saving it and as it is saved i'll just run it and it is running and if i come here 
right now we don't have the table created what is the table name which we have given the table name which we have given is this one iris from glue iris iceberg table from glue so right now we don't have that table it should be created once the job is successful so the job is now successful and we should be able to see the table now yes we are able to view the table and we should be able to view the data as well and this table should have the data from both the data frames because in our glue job when we go to script we are writing from two paths one is iris and one is iris update so when we query yes we have the, the because we, we have more number of records right if you see here yes it has written from both the data frames so this is how we write the data as an iceberg table from glue so it supports all the updates insert all the data frame operations we saw on how to create a table both from athena as well as glue iceberg table but we didn't see how the table underneath looks right so now if i come here so this is iceberg database and this is the table name and here the data and metadata are separated and i'll create another video explaining the iceberg architecture that will be my next video so inside this metadata folder we have all these metadata.json manifest files and the manifest uh, files list and all those details and inside the data folder we have all actual data and the parquet format because we have choose the parquet as a uh, format in the table properties that's it this is for the table which we created from glue and we can even view the table from um, the one which we created athena it has the same metadata uh, metadata information and all these manifest files and the manifest list and the data files that's it because it is partition it is just partition on species we got the partition there. That's it, kid. Thank you so much for watching.